Hi, this is Galit Gopharb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling positive because today our quote of the day is all about negativity and it goes, remove all the self-doubt, worry, jealousy, regret, anger, guilt or any other negative emotions that you are holding you back from your happy, fulfilled life by Nanette Matthews. Negativity can sometimes creep up on you even if you are generally happy. You may have woken up to a negative thought or you may have had a negative encounter with someone or something unexpe unexpected and perhaps unwanted suddenly happened in your life. We all have these days or even periods that, that are like this. And the key is not to let this negativity spread to more and more and more days until you find yourself wrapped up in the negative consequences that negativity can have on your life and on you. It is not possible to avoid all negative situations and sometimes you just feel too down to lift yourself up and remove yourself from this negativity. So I say that the best solution is to go and take a nap and restart your day again but in a better way. But if this is not possible, not an option, another way I have found useful in getting rid of negativity is sharing your thoughts and emotions with someone else. It is said that when you share your problems with someone, then you have them, you make them half of what they were. And when you share your successes, you double them. Now, it's not always comfortable to share negativity. I know I personally do not like to spread any negativity and so I don't like to share my feelings when I'm feeling negative with people who I know. So on days that something spins me off to a negative start, I call a free hotline that we have available where you can just talk about your problems for about 15 to 20 minutes and get someone to listen to you and that way you get all the negativity off of your chest and out of your system. You feel so much better by the end of the conversation. It is really amazing. It, it really is so that when, you, that when you share your negativity with someone, you really do half it. You make it half of what it was. You feel much better. And when you dump this negativity somewhere where the other person doesn't know who you are, then after the conversation, they just move on without it affecting them in any way. And you feel so much better. And in this way, no one is harmed by this negativity. We will all at times feel these negative feelings and emotions, but they must be stopped or they can really take over your life. Things to get, tend to get worse and worse, like a downward spiral when negativity runs your, your, when negativity is running in the background of your mind. Um, this negativity can have a negative effect on your family life, on your relationships, on your business or your job and on your health, of course. Negativity basically affects all aspects of your life in a bad way. Negativity happens when your beliefs and reality are not the same. When we believe something should be in one way, but it, it, in reality, it is a different way than what we expect or want it to be, then we will feel negativity. And this negativity then causes us to want to hurt other people. But these negative feelings are actually hurting and harming us. And if someone does something bad to you, then know that it is because they are hurting inside and they have many negative feelings inside of them. Now, this usually leads to a downward spiral in the relationship between you and the other person who has hurt you. Then you start to feel negative feelings towards them and you want to hurt them back. But for your own sanity and benefit, know that the best revenge is just to let them stay with their negative, negative feelings. In this way, they will suffer from their own negativity and it won't affect you. Remember, you are the one who is supposed to be choosing your own emotions. Don't give that power away to someone else. Keep your power within you and let other people suffer their own consequences from their own negativity. This uh, negative downward spiral can also happen when you feel negative feelings towards yourself. When your expectations for yourself do not match reality, negativity may creep in and you may feel disappointment and negativity, but now this negativity is directed towards you and now you want to hurt yourself and this leads to self-sabotaging behaviors. 
Self-sabotaging behaviors are very common and are the reason why so many people lead unhappy lives. They are hurting and punishing themselves because of negative emotions that they feel. This negativity must be acknowledged and released before it ruins your dreams and ruins your life. This is why it is so important to stop negativity fast, to catch it on time and relax about it and release these negative feelings. Don't hold on to these feelings. Release them. Ask yourself, are these things really as bad as they seem? Go back to the video I did the day before yesterday about gratitude to help you find what you can be grateful for and help you move yourself towards more positivity. Now, not all days in your life will be days of advancement towards your goals. There will be even days or weeks when you need to rest, to rethink your plans, and to do something that is different. Well, life is full of these up and down moments, and to maintain good feelings and to get these get things back into perspective after you may have lost perspective, uh, this is it is very good to take some time out. This time out period will sometimes give you more energy than you had before before you went to this time out. And this new energy can now propel you towards your goals faster with, with more energy and with much more impact. This will help you sometimes catch up with this uh, time out that you took, which is great. And this is what usually happens. Again, I will use running as an example. I go running every day, and this is a habit that I have kept for almost all of my life after the age of 14 when I started. But there are times that I've had to stop running, for sometimes for a day or two after a, an in injury of some sort that usually is not even connected with running. I've also had to stop running sometimes for weeks or even months, like when I became pregnant or when I was overcoming cancer. But soon enough, I was always back running, and it seemed like I had never stopped. And when, when I usually came back, I had more energy than, I, than before I started, before I went to the rest period. And the same is true with your goals. At times, they will need to be put on hold for a few days or weeks when something else comes up. And know that this is all right. It's okay. You may fall into negativity when something unexpected gets in your path. But don't let this negativity stop you from going after your goals. Acknowledge your negative feelings. It is very important to notice them so that you, you can stop them and you, they, you won't let them run rampant and ruin many things for you without you even noticing. Allow yourself to notice these negative emotions and then choose what you can and need to do to stop them from taking over your life. As I mentioned, you can take a nap and start the day anew. You can talk with someone about your feelings. You can exercise and release some endorphins to make you feel better. And you can get a massage or listen to energetic and happy music. Or you can do a meditation to release your negative state and focus on what you can do to improve your feelings in your life. But the first step of all is noticing these negative feelings when they come up and understanding that they must be stopped quickly for your own benefit. Remember, negative feelings can ruin your health, your relationships, your job, your career, and so much more. Therefore, you want to make sure that you take control over your thoughts and choose to stop negativity when it starts or as soon as you notice that you can. So that it won't, that negativity won't show its ugly face in your life as a regular visitor. You don't want that. You can overcome negative thoughts and emotions. You just have to have the faith in yourself to see beyond the drama. Do what you need to do to stop negativity and replace it with hope. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a few questions that will help put you in the right direction for your dreams to, to, and so that you can live the life that you desire to live. So the questions of the day are, what has triggered my negative emotions? And why did I give my power to something outside of myself to run my mind and ruin my day? And how can I prevent this from happening again? And what can I do to prevent this negativity from spiraling downwards and taking me with it? Which, which actions will I take to stop this negativity now? As usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure that you're laser focused on the path towards achieving the life of your dreams and that you wish to have. So. 
uh, to finish off with this video, the affirmation of the day is, I feel my negative thoughts slowly melting away. I deserve good things in my life and I deserve to be successful. I feel my, my negative thoughts slowly melting away. I deserve good things in my life and I deserve to be successful. Now tell this to yourself, this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because with repetition, an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life for the better. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, to help you move your health and wellness to the best place for you. Thank you very much for joining.